Hola mis amigos, it's Tara Vitesse with your Virgos, uh, 2018 April reading, something like that. Okay, so what we have here is a Lenormand spread. The bottom of the deck is key. Then you have house and garden. Now when house and garden flew out, you guys, I thought, are you serious? Because <laughs> house is typically private matters, okay? And garden is typically public matters. So some of you, um, we also have key. So some of you could be getting, like in a very mundane sense, you might be getting a house with a garden, okay? Because this could be a contract of sorts if you have the key. Um, some of you have privacy violation. So this could be that somebody goes into your house. And so you feel like your private area has been made public or is open to the public. Um, and if for some reason you have a break-in or you've recently had one, um, it's going to be somebody who has a key, okay? So that's important to know. It's not going to be some random, like, kick the door down kind of a thing. Um, I'm also seeing if your door happens to be kicked down, because, you know, as soon as I say it's not going to be something, it's going to be something. Um, it's going to be somebody you know then. They like should have the key, okay? Or it could be a family member. Okay, so I'm also seeing you might make some information public. For instance, you might tell people, I bought a house or I'm moving in with somebody because um, somebody's doing something very in a very mainstream way. So it might not be until after you have some kind of an engagement of some sort that you mention that you're moving in with someone. And Scorpio's had the house in the garden and their Lenormand spread. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio. Okay, let's get to your tarot reading. All right, I'm going to do a modified Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on with Virgos. And it would fall down. It's sideways too. I can't believe it. But if I turn it over, it would be one way or the other. Four of Cups. Oh, and that barely wanted to come out. So Four of Cups and Ten of Pentacles reversed. Dealing with family again with that Ten of Pentacles there. So some of you may be moving out of a house. Maybe you got your own house. Or this could also, also be a marriage. So Virgos, you may be um, leaving a marriage or moving out of the house, even if it's just a legal separation. And with the Four of Cups here, I'm seeing something is being turned down. Somebody saying new. No. No, no, no. Also, if somebody doesn't feel safe anymore, because this is a protection of the home, protection of the family, protection of property, it's in reverse. So again, you may feel gullible, like somebody burst your safety bubble. That could be your current situation. Okay, let's see. What is crossing Virgos? For the month of April 2018. Four of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, you have two fours. So you feel like your stability is just nil. I mean, everything that could be stable is not stable here. Four of Pentacles with, in reverse is a lack of stability. It's also um, telling you if you're afraid because, you know, protection has disappeared could even be money wise since we have two pentacle cards if you feel like you're not going to get money from selling a property or from um, a family member having already passed then this is telling me that the fear is not going to solve anything this is also saying maybe you were holding on to some kind of information a little too tight um, and you need to be a little bit more open now, in regards to materialism, if you lose something, this is saying it's just stuff. Let it go. Okay. And, you know, Ten of Pentacles reverse also means robbery. So I, I feel like there is this gullibility, robbery, loss of money kind of a thing. If it's not an actual loss of money, but it came up in the other one too, privacy being violated, um, then it could be... Um, like a bad investment but for those who may be getting married it could be like a dowry of some sort 
I don't know. Do they even have those anymore? Somebody may be marrying rich or somebody may not know that the money's not really there. Okay, let's see. What is the root of the situation for Virgos? Oh, wow. Two of Cups in reverse with the Knight of Wands. So this is telling me eh, we're probably not getting married. <laughs> if that's what you were looking for. I see separation more than anything. That could be somebody could be getting divorced. And that could be for both issues. Maybe it becomes public and somebody didn't want that to be known. But no matter what it's involving, family, love, is saying work on all your relationships. And also the need to be independent. If you're dealing with a fire sign or you just have an independent fire sign spirit, that's what this is about. Because the Knight of Wands here is talking about um, kind of afraid of commitment. And it can lead to some destructions. Some of you may be actually be moving houses um, with the Knight of Wands here. Because maybe if it was broken into... Or you just want to move because you're getting divorced. Okay. That's the root of the situation. All right. And some of you are moving because you left a lease or a contract. As simple as that. Some of you are leaving a contract because you were broken into. You probably had to break your lease because you're like, I don't feel safe. Which is very funny because that sounds a lot like my one of my neighbors. I wonder if he's a Virgo. <laughs> Right. What is the recent past for Virgos regarding the situation? The devil reversed. Wow. I was just thinking that might come out. We have a domineering boss or something of that nature where somebody's feeling restricted, but it's in reverse. So you may have recently <coughs> left a devil situation third party situation um a capricorn because ten of pentacles in reverse says getting out of something that is so traditional it just restricts you it could have been some kind of whatever you were holding on to somebody finally lets it go and that's saying yeah you got out of it you probably had to break some kind of a contract though all right let's okay this is the uh, overall energy, Page of Pentacles in reverse. This could have happened when you weren't paying attention. Like, they always say, like, you drop your guard for, like, a minute and then something happens. And, like, there's no way you could ever know. It just happens to happen. So that's what I see here. This could be... Um, just not seeing this coming. Like, it's a I see lack of planning. Like, I wasn't planning on moving, so I didn't have the money saved up. Or you're so focused about the home situation, whether it's relationship or the actual house, that you just can't concentrate on work or anything else. Right, in the near future, let's see what's coming up for Virgos. I feel like all obsessions, anything that's obsessive, like obsessing, obsessive, 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 all the, of them are in reverse. So you're letting go of something you've held on to or that's very traditional. Now, for some people, this could be they just came out of the closet. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which says go back to the Page of Pentacles reversed, which would say go back to the Ten of Pentacles, which is reverse, which is telling me go back to Nine of Pentacles, okay, which is being single, being successful and self-sufficient, a lot like the Knight of Wands, but we have the Knight of Pentacles, so two knights, interesting. With the Knight of Pentacles, this could have been somebody who I'm seeing careless again so that we could have some carelessness going on with these two um, coin characters in reverse but I'm seeing restriction also so it's like a lot hasn't changed it could be the first you were restricted because you were in something that was blocking you as an individual and then you get out of it or you're trying to because it looks like you may have 
and it's like you're restricted monetarily. So you kind of have to like pick your like pick your demon pretty much. And it looks like you got away from the one that's really terrible. Now it's just money. And that's that's most people don't have money, so it's a common thing to have. But it's like it puts you into this lethargic state. I don't mean lazy, just stagnant. Okay, let's get an overall outcome. What's the overall outcome for Virgos? Lots of pentacle cards, or you're just dealing with another earth sign. Oh, wow. Okay, nine of pentacles, that was little too, is in reverse. So it's eight of pentacles, which is working hard, being committed, and even a job. Whew. It could also be about an engagement, again, because the Eight of Pentacles card that's alluded to is an engagement card. I'm seeing persevere, okay? Um, if somebody doesn't take the initiative, which it doesn't look like it, then you take the initiative, okay? But I'm seeing there is a need for focus. There's a lack of focus in the Eight of Pentacles that's not here, but is alluded to. Its main idea is focus, work, you know, take the initiative, do something, be engaged. So I kind of feel like high alert a little bit, like you're on high alert. Whereas before you weren't, you were kind of maybe in a protective kind of a bubble and then now it's gone. So that's either because somebody came into the home or because unfortunately, like the idea of like mommy, daddy cut me off. So now you're on your own. That's the idea I get here. Like suddenly world changed and it has to do with a loss or a violation of some sort. Let's um, clarify. Six of Cups, definitely dealing with family. Um, could be somebody from your past, but I feel like this is family in this case because of the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like too trusting, too carefree. Ah, Hermit in reverse with the Four of Cups. So both of these are like, I'm going to be alone. I'm going to stick to myself all in my little bubble. I don't need anybody else. And it's like, Wow, okay. <laughs> now I'm having to no, no longer be the loner or the outsider. I don't know why, but my, I'm itching everywhere. So I'm sorry if you've been seeing me itching. It must be a really good reading. Oh my goodness. Okay, so with the Hermit and the Four of Pentacles, it usually talks about caution and prudence. But what's crossing you is the fact that they're both in reverse. So somebody was not cautious. Somebody was not prudent. And it's not like it's your fault. It's just it happened. So I think somebody could have been robbed. And if this is about money, it's saying be careful with finances. Um, be a wise saver. Okay. So somebody may get into some kind of money troubles. Um, and then there's your card in reverse. So you're not doing so hot. So let's let's get this working out. See what the root of the issue is for clarification. I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles alluded to here, you're just going to have to learn a little bit more about how to make money or get a job or the Eight of um, Pentacles. Ooh, judgment. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, my nose is itching. Oh my goodness. And my leg. <laughs> I mean, whose leg itches? Um, also with the hermit and devil here in your recent past, it has to do with um, legal or business plans. Oh my goodness. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, I feel like you're going to have a revelation and you're going to be able to be the light for other people. This could actually literally be a coming out. So some people may just be coming out. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Why am I itching so bad? Oh, I swear. I don't know what it is. Okay. You could be connecting with people from your past because the Six of Cups is in here. 
But with the Four of Cups, they might give you some bad advice and you make a bad investment, okay? So just be a little wary of somebody who's uh, giving you, oh my goodness, information. Oh gosh. Oh, this needs to stop. <laughs> uh, and I could also be there with the Four of Pentacles that there was a new policy. Um, again, we have that domineering person or partner even. So some of you could have left somebody who was very controlling and possessive with the devil, ten of pentacles, four of pentacles. I feel like it's a revelation you're having to leave. Oh my goodness. I'm seeing you're freeing yourself. I'm also seeing with the knight of wands, you're moving to a strong past with judgment and the six of cups. Something fell out. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's the ace of swords. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, I'm also seeing Four of Cups and that Ace of Wands that was um, somewhere around here, I'm supposing, because I didn't get to the side yet. Talking about you have to express yourself because Ten of Pentacles Reverse is having that restricted um, expression oh. or an um, restricting relationship. Oh my goodness. It says to express yourself even if you'll lose friends. And here it could even be family members, possibly lover. There could be some new procedures at your work. Um, if somebody comes from your past, it could be because it's a karmic connection and they want to redo. It is Mercury retrograde so far. Okay, Seven of Swords in reverse. I was doing that for the devil over here in your recent past. So somebody recently could have been caught being deceptive. You, you may have caught like a burglar red-handed, okay? And so... There's a possibility of that. But I'm feeling like there's professional jealousy at work. Um, there's somebody else who's giving you good advice. There's somebody else who's giving you bad advice. But I'm not sure who's who. If it's the devil person, that's definitely not good advice. But there's a lack of stability again. Some scenes seek stability. And this also says, you know, don't let anyone in. So it usually means emotionally, but here I'm seeing you being open and that's what's challenging you. So like literally it's gonna be like, don't open the door, even though I feel like this robbery thing has happened, okay? Because it's also in the past as well as kind of in the present. And it could have been there was an investment that you were investing in or a family member invested in and it ended up being like embezzlement or theft and somebody probably got caught. And so I'm seeing maybe you didn't have a plan A, plan B or plan C because I feel like this is saying you should make a plan, but it's reversed. So it's not, it didn't happen. But I mean, like, it's not like you're going to jail or anything. It's not like that. Um, and then Eight of Pentacles alluded to here is saying you may be secretly going for a job or you have secret plans to start a new job. I feel like some of you get over an old love that you may have been obsessed with or hanging on to for a while or they get over you. Um, Maybe it was advice, because I'm seeing you needing to seek advice. So here's what I'm going to say about the advice. If it's asked for, I would listen. If it's given unsolicited, don't listen to it. Okay, why is the Knight of Pentacles reversed here in the near future? Oh my, I'm so glad I didn't knock all those cards off. Okay, there's too many. Because we have Knight of Pentacles and Page of Pentacles, I feel like there's going to be a solution to your dilemma. 
that's a that's a good solution. Ooh, the world. Okay. I feel like somebody's going to be able to influence somebody with just their words. And with the hermit in here in reverse, it's wanting to come out into the world again after having lost your bubble. And then here it is, somebody is coming out again. That's in the near future. It's feeling more secure and feeling free outside of the limitations that you were in. Or feeling more free even though your bubble is gone. Some of you are moving. I see a few movement cards in here. Most likely to the past in some way. Hmm. It may just be delayed with the Knight of Pentacles reversed there. Or there's a hesitation about it. And if this is about irresponsibility, I see somebody matures. Why is the Page of Pentacles reversed? Too much. We'll just do the Empress here. Well, see, I was wondering about that, and it came up, so I'm going to say it. Page of Pentacles in reverse is either being or feeling ugly, okay, um, or not, or focusing on looks, but in reverse, it's not focusing. And then we have, like, the Beauty Queen here. So somebody may not feel pretty or good looking but they are and i'm seeing somebody's just not going to focus on that or they should not be focusing on that oh so sorry oh. Mm. If somebody's looking for a house, I'm seeing don't focus on the aesthetics, okay? Um, the Knight of Pentacles reversed here is telling me you may not be wanting a garden or the garden's not pretty, but that may be the house for you, for instance. And that does kind of go with our last reading that it may actually have a garden. Or if it doesn't have a garden, don't be, you know, don't turn the offer down or don't dismiss this part, particular thing, okay? I'm seeing that if you're in a career that deals with looks or models, I'm seeing you're not really focused on that. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse also in your near future makes me think like, if you want abundance, you're gonna have to change your career. It may be dealing with children with the Six of Cups here and the Empress. I feel like you'll probably have to change your career. Some people, you know, they recently got away from the devil and they ended up being a single parent. And that could be represented by a mom here, for instance. And then with the Hermit in reverse, it's saying there's a lonely woman. She doesn't have a whole lot of skills. She feels like her beauty is fading and it looks like she may have some kids. So with the four of pentacles here, it's saying there's a need to let go, to invest, to grow. And eventually, see we have the home again though, we have a home. So just know like the home is an issue when somebody's not really looking at something when somebody's not focused on it, when they're focused on things that don't matter, like looks, for instance. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. I'm just, oh. I'm also seeing with the devil here again, somebody does get out of a stifling relationship. And it could be an unhealthy relationship. Somebody was oblivious to all the pain they caused. And be careful, because devil and empress say somebody wants revenge. Okay, that's in your recent past. But it looks like they get caught. So again, this person who's supposed to have a key or they may actually have a key could try to break into your house. Um, that could be one, them wanting revenge, but it looks like nothing really happens. You may not even be there if this hasn't already happened. 
Why is the Nine of Pentacles reversed here? Have you getting out of a toxic relationship and then it's like settling for one so i need to see what this is five of swords i thought that would come up but i was hoping it wouldn't somebody does feel ugly they don't feel like i'm woman hear me roar even though they are they just don't feel it two of cups upright and the strength okay so somebody wants to come together could be somebody that's been married or just really committed, but they feel like they have nothing to lose and they're very possessive, very controlling. Possibly a Leo, but it doesn't have to be. I just don't like the way this feels. Um, however, in a good sense with the Empress here, it could be you decide that you're gonna dominate um, your expression but here it's really like this relationship was dominating you and it was very toxic. In fact, um, who was it? Pisces got the Five of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles reversed in their reading, um, which was just overall just very toxic. So you could be dealing with a Pisces. Also with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, kind of like the Pisces. And they even had the world. They may have even had these close together, but not completely. They even had the Hermit, too. They had a lot of the same cards you do. I'm seeing no future business with this person. Again, I feel like there's past resentment. Somebody's trying to get something up on somebody. And then with the Empress here and the Five of Swords, I'm seeing something being neglected. So it's like when something's not looked at, there it is. And even if somebody feels ugly, okay, I'm seeing that they don't feel worthless. Again, this could also be you think somebody else is ugly, okay? But either way, somebody wants revenge. I'm not sure why. So be a little careful. It's like a domineering boss or somebody who drinks. You got away from them or you know, they got away from you. <sighs> so sorry, man. Okay, bottom of the deck. The lovers. Okay. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Oh. I'm seeing. There's some soulmate energy here. It's like maybe in the past you somebody was not your soulmate. And eventually you find your soulmate. But and it all feels like it's the same person. And I would never want to say a soulmate is somebody who would do this kind of thing because that's just crazy. Um, maybe they think you're their soulmate or you think this. But you definitely want somebody who's going to treat you right. But we do have revived love here. So you may have revived a past love, okay? And that's led to the whole situation. Maybe they come back acting one way when really they have ulterior motives. I mean, they are the devil after all. And we do have, you know, this whole three thing. So it could be they haven't been faithful. But it sounds like they want revenge because they don't seem like a very good person. And it says if it's not you, then you're just close to this crisis. It could be involving your parents with the empress here. Because we do have a family type of reading here. I feel like this involves a marriage of some sort, whether it's yours or not. And if it's not that, then you could have 
strayed from a marriage or somebody could have strayed from your marriage and you had a fling because the devil's here but it ended up with the five of swords too you knew something wasn't right like something was just wrong and it was an unhealthy kind of love and it was obsession and either you let go of the obsession or somebody was trying to let go of it but either way they try to get revenge and there's some kind of privacy violation so be careful around this person because they don't seem to right in the head could be a wrong choice you made um, or they made. Just depends on all who you are. You could have just simply been a little bit bored or stagnant in your marriage, or you felt like you were being confined or fed up. Somebody's fed up though with the uh, Four of Cups here in your situation. I also have engaging in intimacy, and that's feels like that's something that happened. Somebody had a choice and they went with the wrong choice. And that's almost like a lifetime movie, like, you know, woman strays or man strays and the person they stray with ends up being psycho and like stalks them and breaks in their house and tries to kill everybody. I mean, that's, that's kind of what it feels like here. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. Um, but this also talks about security. So I feel like just make sure you're a little bit more vigilant. Uh, up and up on the security. Make sure all your keys are where they should be. That kind of thing. Queen of Wands. It's also like the Knight of Wands. So it could be somebody you've dealt with before. Possibly a fire sign. I don't like the Queen of Wands necessarily. Because um, it talks about being faithful and all of that. But it's as if from the other cards that may not have happened. And this person's very determined. And well disposed to people. And if you even turn her even slightly, she's hot and cold. She can't be trusted. She's unfaithful, unstable, um, jealous, vindictive, obsessive. So I feel like you get out of an obsession or somebody else does. But there's some kind of something here. I'm not really sure what it is, but I feel like it has to do with just violation of privacy. Now, if we had like the King of Swords or something like that, I'd be more worried, but we don't. So I think we're good for that part. Well, Virgos, just be careful who comes in. Don't let anybody in quickly, like the Seven of Swords suggests. Just. See if we can get some answers from the Angel Answers decks. It's so weird how these all matched up. Different decks, same reading. All right. Let's see what messages there are for Virgos. Oop. 2018. Very slippery. I'm itching all over the place. This must be a really good reading. I do feel like whatever relationship, either the one that you were in, like as a marriage, or one that was committed, or even one that was a fling, it was something was just missing. Like the foundation wasn't there. The person was crazy. Okay, so see only love. Look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. Okay. Oh my goodness. I hate it when they fall down. Okay, that was two. I don't really want two. Let's see what else comes up. Okay, be honest with yourself. Look into your heart and you will know the truth of the situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires, and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. All right. Sometimes I don't like that deck, so I want to pull from this one. I don't know. Sometimes they just 
I don't know, they don't resonate. Okay, let's see what Virgos have in store. Okay, wow. Ask for help from others. You're ready. Recovery. Okay, bottom of the deck. Unlikely. Hmm. So what's this unlikely about? In the near future? Okay. What's that unlikely about? Choose a new direction. I'm not sure what direction you were planning on, but in the near future, you're gonna to have to choose a new direction because it's not likely to happen. And again, ask for help from others, okay? Don't stop. So if you're on the road to recovery from anything, keep going. Yeah. This is over, don't know how, but take action. So don't stop, don't give up. Take action. Keep going. No need to worry. Okay. Pisces got that too, actually. All right, Virgos. Good luck. God bless.